Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs to Born, but both for Theme Park News and welcome to our next five years video where today we're gonna to be talking about Dollywood. Now someone suggested this video as part of the uh, Hershen Family Entertainment Group and the one to which to do five year plans for all of them parks. Uh, so big shout out to Theme Park Tomorrow uh, for suggesting those parks. We've got Silver Dollar City, uh, there's some other parks that they own as well, which I may look into as well. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at Dollywood today. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you use the hashtag to answer more questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. Those questions will be saved, ready for our 2,000 subscriber Q&A when we hit that milestone. And for now, guys, let's get into another video. So... Before we take a look at the next five year predictions for Dollywood, let's take a look at the last 10 years of Dollywood. So, starting off with 2010. Now in 2010, uh, the park decided to open Adventure Mountain at a cost of $5 million in the Wilderness Pass area. It included three distinct adventure courses, Geyser Gorge, Black Bear Cliff and Rocky Top. That ranged from easy to expert with a hundred different rope features, swinging beams, suspension bridges, flying islands and floating stairs. Adventure trails ranges from a few inches above the ground to more than 26 feet in the air. The area also included a play area called Camp Teacher to Me for younger children. And they also brought back Shire Khan Ohei, Land of Blue Smoke, and changed its logo for the 25th anniversary. In 2011, they opened Owen's Farm area, which included a play area for the younger guests and also a $5.5 million s and Screaming Swing known as Barnstormer. Now, they also introduced Christmas on Ice, a new ice skating Christmas show premiered in Dolly Parton Celebrity Theatre and headlined Smoky Mountain Christmas. In 2012, on the 24th of March, the park opened Wild Eagle, the first Bulger and Mabial Wingoaster in the United States, also the biggest investment in Dollywood's history at the time. Dollywood purchased Sky Zip from Skyline Eco Adventures and also Timber Tower, the Topple Tower attraction, was dismantled before opening in 2012 due to a lawsuit with the ride manufacturer. Dollywood in 2013 dedicated to family memories, introducing new shows including Cirque Shanghai, Mystic India and One World Party as part of the Festival of Nations along with more than 50 new international food items. The park also introduced Great American Summer, a new summer festival that replaced the Kids Fest um, show uh, and festival. It included the Great American Crunch Show, Gazillion Bubbles, the Little Engine Playhouse and Salute to America. Dollywood extended its hours and had the nightly fireworks show as well. And Smoky Mountain Christmas added a new show that was Dolly Parton's version of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Dollywood's slogan for, the, for that particular season was Make Time for Happy. And the Imagination Cinema became Dream Song Theatre and played Dolly's My People, a show about the family of Dolly Parton. Now in 2014, they went coaster crazy again. Shout out to Andy from Coaster Crazy if you get the meme and the little joke. Uh, <laughs> but they went coaster mad in 2014 with Fire Chaser Express, a dual launch family coaster which replaced the Adventure Mountain attraction. So that didn't last long, the Adventure Mountain, in the Wilderness Pass area. So Dollywood's slogan was changed to love every moment. And with Fire Chaser Express, you got some great moments on that coaster. It's a credit of mine that I've wanted to get for years. So I want to try and get out of that Dollywood in the future and try this credit out. Now, as well as that, Smoky Mountain Christmas added a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer meet and greet and Holly Jolly Junction. Dollywood's Dream More Resort and Spa opened adjacent to the Splash Country in 2015. And for the 30th anniversary of the park, the park redesigned the entrance to the resort guests and added two new shows to the Festival of Nations called Rhythm of the Dance and Timber. Was that a reference to Timber Tower, the old attraction? We don't know. Uh, Kaz Walkers was demolished to make room for a new attraction and six new shows were added to the Great American Summer along with the revival of the Showcase of Stars concert series. Also new was Rock the Smokies, a Christian music festival and Rudolph the Friends returned to the Smoky Mountain Christmas Festival. 
In 2016, they introduced Coaster Crazy again with Lightning Rod, an RMC, the fastest wooden coaster in the world, the world's first launched wooden coaster. Uh, so this was located uh, right near to Rockin' Roadway. We thought it was all going to get replaced, uh, but that, that's like a little kid's sort of driving attraction. That's right opposite, like right next door to Lightning Rod. Uh, but Lightning Rod came in, RMC got in, they opened the coaster on the 13th of June, and then a year later in 2017 on the Timber Tower site, after a few years, S well, not SBNO of course, but after a few years of the site being untouched and unused, they replaced the Timber Tower site with a brand new drop tower called Dropline. And also opened a brand new junior coaster called Whistle Punk Chaser. They also debuted two new seasonal events, and Dollywood Splash Country added the Tailspin Racer Slide Complex. They also removed Sideshow Spin and the River Battle. And the former River Battle site in 2018 was transformed into Wilderness Pass, a new open space with covered seating for relaxing and enjoying seasonal events. With the debut of Spring Mix three-week music series, the 2018 season of Showstoppers also marked the park's largest investment in entertainment in Dollywood's history. The 2018 Festival of Nations includes three headliners new to Dollywood, Flamenco King starring Los Vivancos in the Pines Theatre, or the Pines Theatre, National Dance Company Siberia in the Celebrity Theatre, and Ladysmith Black Mumbanzo in the Show Street Palace Theatre. The first summer celebration event includes various performances and attractions, including Drumline Live in the Celebrity Theatre, a show that focuses on the musical styles of marching bands from historically black colleges and universities. It uses technology, including video screens and special effects, to enhance soul, R&B, country and other music types. Renovations include upgrades to Aunt Granny's and rebranding and renaming of two of the shops in the park. Work began on October 2017 on Wildwood Grove, which is a brand new area that's set to open, uh, well, opened on May 10th, 2019. Uh, so this included the Tilton Harvest Restaurant, the Hidden Hollow uh, Indoor Play Area, the Wildwood Creek Splash Pad, the Boat Ride, J Great Tree Swing, the Wildwood Tree, and many, many more, including the Vacoma Suspended Family Coaster Dragonfly, which was a clone of Farup Summerland's Orkanen. Now, it was part of a $300 million six-year expansion project. Now, in 2019, 2019, in October, it was announced the park would add its first new festival in 14 years, the Flower and Food Festival, which featured 10 to 15 tall, foot tall toperies based on Dolly songs like Coat of Many Colours, colourful photo opportunities, a rainbow sky over Show Street and delicious eats, the festival commemorate the park's 35th and third season and run from May 8th, was scheduled to run, well, was scheduled to run from May 8th to June 14th, 2020. They also filed plans for a new resort in October 2019, adjacent to Splash Country and the Dream More Resort. Planned to feature a 310 room hotel, a 325 seat restaurant, and a conference space. The, uh, the plans indicate the resort will create 100 jobs. Now, of course, that is not all because we were going to get this major announcement of a brand new multi million plan or this brand new investment plan that's set to be the most they've invested in the park's history. This massive announcement and of course that got delayed and postponed because of the crisis. Uh, we don't know when that announcement is going to be, which is perfect that this video is coming up now and it's on your screens right now because then we can start to predict this next five years that what they could announce in these plans. So. That, my friends, was the last 10 years of Dollywood, very, very heavily themed, very, very heavily experienced, um, and all these festivals, I'm sure they're going to continue, uh, but when I talk about the next five year predictions, in my opinion, I'm not going to talk about all the festivals and the, sh and the shows, etc. I'm going to say there is at least one year in these plans where I think it's going to be mainly a show year, and I think they're going to one-up themselves, but I'll talk about that. In the predictions uh, but I'm not going to go into full detail about specific shows countries nationalities things that can focus on specifically with the shows I'm just going to say stuff about uh, just basics about the shows if I think there's going to be some uh, but I hope you guys really enjoy these predictions so without further ado let's have a look at the next five years of Dollywater before I say anything 
I know, I've got a new chair. Uh, but, um, and behind you, there's a new smart TV. But enough of that, let's get into our predictions. Starting off with 2021, and 2021 is a very easy one. I think we're going to see phase two of Wildwood Grove. This has been talked about for months and months and months, even before we knew Dollywood was going to make an announcement, a massive announcement about the investments uh, in the future. So, I think as part of a phase two for Wildwood Grove, we're going to see a shooting dart ride. Now, my prediction at first, when I sort of first heard about this, was between two. It was between a shooting dart ride or a Garmendale motion simulator system like Gangster Grand and the Ride at nearby Alton Towers uh, that's now opening in 2021. Uh, so, you know, I thought for one that was going to be the system coming in. There was a rumor about that system coming in. Now it looks like it's pretty much potentially going to be a shooting dart ride. Uh, so I think that a shooting dart ride is a good fit. I think it's a it's something that the park are missing uh, But uh, it should be interesting to see how the park do it because of course some shooting dart rides don't usually work out as best Haha <laughs> Jewel uh, but um, Yeah, just a cheeky dig at Jewel there um, But I think Dollywood are gonna work this well. I think they're gonna do really really well with this I think that they're gonna um, Create a good shooting dart ride with a great backstory intense theming great atmosphere around the whole site uh, and I think they're gonna uh, bring in this dart ride system, this shooting dart ride system and I think they're gonna uh, bring it to light and I think they're gonna do something incredible with this especially with the the look of the Wildwood Grove area. I think this is gonna be a great phase two for the park. But moving in then to 2022, uh, 2022 again I think is a pretty easy one because I think that 2022 will be the year Dollywood adds their next roller coaster, and I think we're going to be seeing a Bulliger and Mabillard hyper coaster or a Mac Extreme spinning coaster replacing Mountain Sidewinder. Now, Mountain Sidewinder closed in 2019, and that site is not being used. However, that has become a heavy speculated site for their next coaster. Of course, the other one was Wild Will Grow Phase 2. But with pretty much, you know, not all but confirmed, but we pretty much have an idea now that it's going to be a dart ride in. Wildwood Grove, you know, instead of a new, instead of another coaster, we can pretty much assume that Mountain Sidewinder will be the site of their next coaster. And a B&M Hyper working with that terrain, um, or a Mac Extreme spinning coaster. Now, of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go and watch a previous Dollywood video, I've set up the Dollywood playlist now, so you can you can check out for yourselves that video uh, on the Dollywood playlist, which I've linked at the end of the video, so you can click on that playlist and check out all the videos on Dollywood. Basically, they did a survey on dart rides and coasters, and the three t coasters on the survey were an indoor coaster, a Mac Extreme spinning coaster, and a hyper coaster. And those pictures of a BNN. So, you know, the indoor coaster I'd like to see, but I would rather replace Blazing Fury with a brand new indoor coaster rather than build a second one. So. And that, I think that'll be in like the next five years. I think they'll add those three anyway, but I think they're going to replace Blazing Fury with a much better indoor coaster. So I would rather wait until the second half of the decade for that one. So stay tuned for that video in a few years' time. But that leaves us with the other two options. Now I think, like I said, these two coasters will come into the park anyway. Uh, but what do I choose first? Now, of course, Market Stream Spinning Coasters. Um, you know, time travel at Silver Dollar City. Obviously, that's the sister part to Dollywood, uh, part of the same company. Uh, so it would be a no-brainer to go with that. However, a B&M Hypercoaster, that would be a great solution as well. Because a Hypercoaster is something the park have needed for a while. And, you know, I, if I can just take a minute of your time here uh, to... Um, to go over the, the Dollywood coaster lineup, and believe me, there's a good range already to the coaster lineup. Nine coasters at this park. Uh, so you've already got Blazing Fury, which is your, your Dark Ride family coaster. Uh, you've got Dragonfly, of course, in Wildwood Grove, that's the suspended family coaster by Vacoma. Fire Chaser Express, which is your dual launch by Gerstler. You've got Lightning Rod, which is the RMC. You've got Mystery Mine, which is the Gerstler Eurofighter. You've got Tennessee Tornado, which is your Arrow Custom Looper. Very classic coaster indeed. Uh, Thunderhead, which is a GCI. Whistlepunk Chaser, which is your Zamperla Kids Coaster. And you've got your B&M Coaster, Wild Eagle. So, you know, they haven't got a spinner. And they haven't got a airtime based coaster like a Hyper. So, you know, either one would fit the market. So I don't mind which either one it would be. Just any one of them. Moving in then 
to 2023 and 2023 again is a very easy one because I think 2023 will be the year of the entertainment takeover as it will so I mentioned in the last 10 years how one year it was the most amount of entertainment and it was like the most investment in entertainment in Dollywood's history. I think 2023 is the year they're going to bring the families back in again and they're going to make new memories and they're going to break their own record for the most investment in entertainment in the park's history. And like I said before, I'm not going to say specifically what or where or how. I think they're going to do it. I think if I can go anywhere near specific in the shows, I think we could see a couple of world's first shows. I'm not going to say exactly what. But I think that they could break some records with entertainment. I think they could definitely break some records rather than it just being the most entertainment invested in park history. So I think 2023 is going to be a year focused on the most entertainment in the park's history. Moving in then to 2024. And you don't see a Google Earth on your screen for 2024 because you see a couple of family rides. That is right. I think we're going to see the park add some family rides. Now, of course... Uh, in terms of uh, attractions for the park, uh, you look at each individual area, you look at uh, the different rides they've got. They've got a range of Zamperla kids rides. Uh, they've got obviously some a Hopkins log flume, uh, which is technically family. Uh, they've got the Chance car rides. They've got the Rapids, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, they've got your fun time drop tower. Of course, that's drop line. Um, they've got a Zamperla again, they've got some Chance, they've got a good range of family manufacturers here for family rides. But one thing that I want to see, one massive thing I want to see is a, some kind of Endeavour. Now Endeavour seems to be very, very popular, but I think knowing Dollywood, I think they could, um, do a nicely permanent looking themed endeavor now where i don't know where in the park that would be that's why there's no google earth image this was the one i struggled with the most in terms of location because i don't know where you'd put this uh i mean you could remove the rocking roadway uh the little car ride next to lightning rod and you could do a flat rides family rides package uh, in that site to expand the area a bit uh, so you could do like a raceway theme for an endeavor and then introduce a couple of other kids rides uh, maybe this just a suggestion how about a Zampel a disco coaster a disco coaster and endeavor a double a dual Zampel a package of attractions for that rocking raceway site now obviously you know you'd have to put some kids rides elsewhere as well um, you know, to complement the removal of rocking, uh, rocking roadway, rocking raceway, whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think that a disco coaster and a um, endeavour, you know, themed to, to lightning rod and the whole area, the jukebox junction. I think that would be a really cool way to, you know, theme it up. So that is what I think for 2024. But now, I said I'd talk about the rapids, didn't I? Now. Um, basically, 2025, I think they're going to do a Silver Dollar City. Okay, now what I mean by that is, I think they're going to do a refurbishment of their Rapids ride. Now, Smoky Mountain River Rampage opened in 1986. Uh, it's a Rapids ride in the Rivertown Junction area. Sounding familiar? Uh, I think we're going to see a new Rapids system replace it, just like Lost River of the Ozarks was replaced by Mystic River Falls. Scheduled for this year at Silver Dollar City. I think they're going to go along that route. And I think they're going to do a Rapids ride with an elevator lift. A drop. A new story. Some new theming around the around the new ride. Uh, and I think, you know, summer 2024, March 2024 even. As early as that. Going into summer 2025. I think this will be about a year's worth of project. Uh, kind of like how a coaster would construct about a year's project on site rather than just you know excluding the couple of years behind the scenes working on the projects you know i think this is going to be a year working on site on this project and i think that uh 2025 will be uh the year uh for this rapids ride this improved rapids ride uh with the brand new story and you know re that whole river town area to to become part of 
uh, this brand, like a brand new area kind of thing uh, and theme it around the story of the Rapids ride. So there we go. So that, my friends, is my five-year predictions for Dollywood. So we've got uh, a coaster in there. We've got a dart ride. We've got some family rides. We've got a show season, like a, se like a whole season of new shows and entertainment, uh, most in the park's history. And, of course, uh, an improved Rapids ride. So, you know, I, it's... It, this one's been hard. I'm not going to lie, this one's been hard. Um, it's been easy in most places, but for the, the things like 2025 and, you know, finding locations for the flat, for the family rides, you know, it's been very, very tough for that one. So, you know, there were some years that, like I said, some years were easier than others because I could see a new coaster. I could see the Wild World Grow Phase 2 uh, next year. Um, obviously, with the crisis and everything, we don't know if everything's been delayed by a year. So, obviously, we don't know if this plan's going to come into effect in 2021 ready for 2022 and then the next five years on for that going into uh the next anniversary which is 2026 uh so it's been very hard to con like conduct a five-year plan but you know if things don't get delayed by this crisis if things aren't getting delayed at the minute which you know in the american parks it doesn't seem like things are getting delayed at the minute so you know, it's very, very simple. I think that's the five years. I think we are going to see some new family rides. Whether it would be in that Rockin' Raceway site near Lightning Rod. Again, that's up for debate. Uh, dart rides in Wildwood Grow Phase 2. That's definitely something I could see. Hyper or an extra spinner replacing Mountain Sidewinder. That's something I'd very likely to see. 2022, maximum 2023. Again, these years could change. Uh, there is going to be at least one year where they try and break their own record for the most investment in entertainment in park history. Uh, broke their previous record, so I think there's one year where they are going to break that record. Um, and you know, I think there will be at least one year. Maybe, it, maybe it not be, maybe it won't be in these first next five years, but maybe sometime in the future. I think they are going to improve their rapid drive. Same with the log flume, really. I think that they could do the whole. Uh, refurbishment of their log flume you know what uh, Alton Towers did with the flume they gave it a new theme yes it was an IP but it was still a new theme they refurbished it they got it spruced up a bit I think they could do the same with their log flume Dollywood I think they could uh, refurbish it retheme it give it some new boats give it a storyline give it a whole new theme make it all look brand new uh, not just in terms of the ride layout you know, paint it up, look it brand new, but give it a new story to celebrate the spruce up in refurbishment for that attraction. Same with the Rapids. I think a new story and some changes would make it a better attraction than it already is. So, you know, whether that be in these next five years or the next five years after that, or in the or just in the long-term future in general, in the next decade or the next decade, I don't know. But from those five years, that's what I could realistically, you know, create. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this next five years video from Dollywood. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you stay tuned at the end of the video because I've linked the new Dollywood playlist. You can check that out right now. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep on the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.